This video is one in a series of topic videos to help prepare for the Snowflake Snow Pro Core Certification Exam. This Snowflake topic video is about semi-structured data and formats, and this section is worth 4% of the exam. If you haven't yet watched my introduction video, I really recommend that you watch it first to get the most out of these video series. For loading and unloading data, Snowflake supports six file format types, CSV, JSON, and Parquet for loading and unloading, and then Avro, ORC, and XML for loading only. When loading data into Snowflake, a compression algorithm automatically detects the compression type except for broadly compressed files, which cannot be detected automatically. For uncompressed data that is loaded, files are automatically compressed using the default, which is gzip. Snowflake compresses column data effectively, therefore creating columns larger than necessary has minimal impact on the size of data tables. Likewise, there is no query performance difference between a column with a maximum length declaration and a smaller precision. Regarding data types, Snowflake supports most SQL data types. However, large objects such as blob or clob and also enum data types are not supported. Additionally, user-defined data types are not supported. Semi-structured data types, including variant, object, and array, are supported in Snowflake. The variant data type is the column data type used for ingesting semi-structured data. It can be used to store values of any other type, including object and array, up to a maximum of 16 megabytes compressed. The JSON, Avro, ORC, XML, and Parquet data structure types can be ingested into a variant column in Snowflake. To make a variant column accessible in a BI tool, it is recommended that a view be created. To parse nested objects into separate rows, there is a table function called flatten. The function returns a row for each object and the lateral modifier joins the data with any information outside of the object. The two words that represent the objects, the options used with the flatten command are lateral and table. You'll find more topic videos on YouTube and be sure to reach out to me on Twitter or LinkedIn and let me know if you have any questions or if I can help you on your Snowflake certification journey. Thanks so much.